Housing is a big focus of our Making It in San Diego initiative. It takes up a huge chunk of all of our paychecks to pay either rent or our mortgages. And for many, finding affordable housing is nearly impossible here. Well, today, City Council will consider adopting an ordinance that would allow Section 8 vouchers to be accepted everywhere in the city. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala live in Talmadge right now. And Mimi, there's concerned families who receive government assistance are facing discrimination. Right, Jason, and right now there's really no way to stop a landlord from turning away those Section 8 voucher holders. Now, these apartments right behind me here do accept Section 8, but so many in the city do not. Well, a new proposed ordinance could change that. A lot of us would be out on the street. Joan Larson says she's been on Section 8 housing since the 70s. It allowed her to raise her daughter with a roof over their heads when things got tight while she was still working. But you can't get Section 8 unless you can pay part of it. It's not free. In San Diego, more than 15,000 low-income households receive Section 8 rental assistance. But right now, landlords can deny those vouchers. They think it's going to bring down the reputation of the place. A proposed ordinance in front of City Council Tuesday would prohibit housing discrimination based on a tenant's source of income, giving Section 8 voucher holders equal access to all rental units in the city. Karina Johnson, who worked on the ordinance with Councilmember Georgette Gomez, says many landlords aren't aware that they too can benefit from this. Sometimes 80% or more of your rent is going to be direct deposit on the same day every month because the Housing Commission has that in place. Um, being protected um, for any sort of property damage, this, the Housing Commission is creating a contingency fund that would cover property damages and lost rents. You pay your share of the rent? And they let you have the place, they get their money. Larson hopes anyone in a rough situation who qualifies for housing assistance won't be turned away from a potential home simply because they're getting some extra help. Put yourself in, your, in their place. Put yourself in their place. You'd be out on the street. It's a mentality thing. They think just because you're, 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 you're not working, you're trash. And it's not true. There's reasons you can't work. I've worked for a long time. Now, I did reach out to several landlords who do not accept Section 8 vouchers to get their take on this, but did not hear back by showtime. The City Council will consider adopting this ordinance at their 2 p.m. meeting. Reporting in Talmadge, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.